time now for the second semi-final here in Tallinn, Estonia at the first World Cup of the women's EPE new international season, the first World Cup of the new Olympic cycle for Paris 2024. It's an all French affair as we see these two face off against each other for just the second time in a senior international competition. I'm sure it's not the second time these two have fenced. They've been teammates for a long time. Alexandra Louis-Marie on the left-hand side is the world number 14 at 25 years old, going up against the world number 27, Josephine Jacques-André Coquin. She's 31 years old. These two French fencers met at the Havana World Cup in January 2019, where Jacques-André Coquin took the win. Jacques-André Coquin came through the qualifiers, winning all six of her pool matches to qualify directly for this round of 64. Lou Marie, by contrast, was exempt from the qualifiers. Best result for Louis Marie, the gold medal at the Budapest Grand Prix in March 2020, the last women's epi competition before the world changed. A World Cup win for Jacques-André Coquin in June 2012 back in Leipzig. We are underway for this semi-final to see who will face Marie-Florence Candassamy. Either way, it's going to be an all-French final. Lefty against righty. Sorry, righty against righty here. Oh, going up for a chance to face their teammate. Guaranteed gold, silver and bronze for the French here in Tallinn. Different stories through the draw here today for these two. Lou Marie had a fairly comfortable win against Israel's hecht 15-7 in the 64, but then single light victories, or single hit victories for her throughout, beating Ndolo of Germany 14-13, Jureska of Poland 11-10 in a priority minute, and her teammate Luti 15-8 in the quarterfinals. Dutella of Argentina was Jacques-André Coquin's first opponent, a 15-7 victory for her, followed by USA's Guti Vincente 15-13. And the Sissian of the USA, the 18-year-old, had a cracking day to make the round of 16, but was taken apart by Jacques-André Coquin, 15-10, before the French woman also faced a teammate, Laurent Romby, who she beat 15-14 in the quarterfinals. You know, they're keeping the pressure up on each other. Jacques-André Coquin instigating more than a taller teammate. My math isn't wrong. Well. Lou Marie is in her third consecutive podium match in an individual competition, if you take the Olympic Games out of it. In fencing's international circuit, she is at least bronze in a silver in Barcelona at the World Cup in February 2020 before winning that last international in Budapest. That is, of course, putting aside the final qualifier for these FPS, which happened in Kazan in 2021, in March. to say at the moment, but Jacques-André Coquin seems to be mesmerising Louis Marie for, into going for the blade. And then uh, 
Jacques Andre Kakana is closing the distance. on Lou Marie, just pressing a little bit more than she has done. She's trying to close things up. But these two are going to let this one go. And the more experienced Jacques-Andre Coquin goes into the first break with a 7-5 lead. Seemingly winning the tactical battle at the moment and no coaches out because uh, we have two French fencers. I'm sure they're coached by different people but as that mark of respect to each other no coaches coming out and Jacques-Andre Coquin looking like she's in control at the moment but it is an opportunity for some thought from Louis Marie to perhaps alter her approach she just seems to have looked like she's being lured into playing a blade game here trying to beat her opponent's blade out of the way The 31-year-old here, Jacques-Andre Coquin. I last won a medal back in Strasbourg at the European Championships in 2014. It was a bronze for her there, having picked up a gold in June 2012 at the Leipzig World Cup. She's going for a second win here on the World Cup circuit at the start of the second period. Alafala Raki referee gets us underway. And again, it's a blade game. Wow. Oh. 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 Watch this. Oh, not getting lured into going for the blade at close distance here. Just went straight to target. Got a single light. So close to within one. worry about there in terms of uh, the scoreline given the fact we're only in the second period a double making too much of a difference and if anything it's giving Lou Marie some more information on how to handle Jacques-Andre Coquin Review of the video, nothing to concern ourselves with though. An attempted flash attack there from Louis Marie. Didn't quite pay off a bit too far away. being kept on by Jacques-Andre Coquin. Beats very distracting and then able to launch an attack of her own on the flesh. This time, Lou Marie stays away from the blade or doesn't get attracted into going for the blade and sticks out her arm for a double. Big reach advantage for her. And then picks her off. Now, the scores tied up a little fake attack there from her and then the real one and Jacques-Andre Coquin comes back so clever stuff short attack from Louis Marie faking for the real one <laughs> just like that let's see here 
But uh, Jack Andre Kukan gets right back into it. He's just falling a little bit behind because these hits are coming thick and fast. I can tell you it's the moment 13 11. There you go. As we get back to the action and a nice counter from Jack Andre Kukan. So Jacques Andre Kukan here, one away. And there it is. A great performance from her. There was a little bit of a rally there from Louis Marie. But a 15 11 victory from Jacques Andre Kukan sees her make it through for her second chance at winning a World Cup medal. 11 years since she last did it. Fabulous performance from her. She's through to the final. We have to mute, I'm afraid, because uh, there's right-held music being played in the venue. But it'll be about 10 minutes before we're back for the gold medal match where we will see Jacques-André Coquin go against, up against her teammate Candassamy in an all-French final. Don't go too far. We'll be back for the first women's epee gold medal match of the new international season here in Tallinn very soon. <laughs> 